Now then, welcome back to another episode of Banished. Hush, survival. And once again, I am surviving. I'm still surviving. I'm surviving the heat and the cold. I think it's the middle of winter at the minute, even though there's no snow around. We did have um, a freezing of water a little while ago. I think there's still some water frozen around the place. I think, I think we can still see a few frozen bits of water. Yeah, maybe I have lived through another winter while I've been around here. Uh, one thing that the winter did affect was the vanilla crops. The vanilla crops, uh, such as wheat, which I'm growing over there, made sure that my uh, progress with the animals, the, uh, the farming animals, was halted. But as you can see, I've got quite a good stock of uh, cows at the minute and quite a good stock of pigs and sheep. There's quite a good stock growing at the minute. Uh, I've even started breeding the chickens up a little bit as well. Uh, but progress is halting slightly because of this. Oh man, I only planted those the other day. We had one cold spell. Yeah, one cold spell and all of the wheat has gone. So once again, all my seeds broken, destroyed. Ah, oh, there's no point trying to do it in winter. So instead of trying to do anything winter related today, uh, well, any farming in the winter, there's no point because I can't get the, I can't get it to work. I've come up with another idea. This disenchantment table I've spotted. Disenchantment table. It's an enchantment table with three emeralds and some yellow dye. Well, I just picked a couple of yellow flowers, some dandelions from uh, my bone mealing around and about the place to make a couple of the yellow dye. So we've got that. And I wanted to make a disenchanter and go over to the zombie farm in order to do some uh, disenchanting of some of the stuff so I can upgrade some of my weapons a little bit. So we need some obsidian. I think we need four obsidian. We need a book. And we need two diamonds for an enchanting table. Then we need three diamonds for that. And that was it. Yeah, three emeralds, should I say, for that. And that was it. Out, burn. Bernie Hut. <laughs> I've got to do something with those ice crystals as well at some point. So quickly make an enchanting table. Da da. And then quickly make a disenchanting table. And da da, there we go. Now I don't know how this works, never used it before, so let's see. Uh, let's put it there. Does that still open? Yes, it does. Awesome. Okay. And that rare diamond sword, do we have any enchanted stuff in here that I can use? Oh my days. Oh my days. Uh, what did I put on this? Knocked back sh sharpness uh, and health draining. Health draining. Well, why not? Uh, let's see. It needs a book in there. You put that in there, and then we get a book. Well, you get two books. Oh, it falls out. Okay, it falls out. We'll put that in there, that in there, and what do we get? Health draining off. Does it only ever take the top one? Uh huh. Okay. So, <clears throat> in order to take them off, I've got to take them off one at a time from the top down by the looks of it. Well, I kind of like that ish. But I don't want it, so <laughs> it's good. It's good. I, I, did you see the way the uh, disenchanting was upside down as well? The dis disenchantment table was uh, the books flying upside down. That's cool. That's a nice little addition. I like that. Uh, disenchanting tables then. So yeah, we can do disenchanting, but there's nothing I want to disenchant right now. This bow is awesome. Look, power four, unbreaking three, infinity, a legendary. I haven't been using it enough to get the levels up on it though. And I've noticed that axes don't gain levels up in the same way as weapons do. So my using a dual wield axe and sword style, the sword has to level up in my off uh, in my main hand. Uh, if I put the sword in my off hand, it doesn't gain any levels. So yeah, I've kind of got to work out my ideal solution for that. But I do have a basic diamond sword, and I think I've stored away in here. Uh, let's see. Yes, up in here. I've stored away in here a legendary diamond sword, which I've been using a little bit and got a few leveled up abilities. But I've got no enchantments on it yet. So I'm thinking about what enchantments to put on it. I've got not much in here, really, at the minute. So I was thinking, how do I disenchant stuff? How do I disenchant things that need 
um, that have enchantments on them because there's loads of stuff over at the zombie farm that I might be able to use. Um, but running all the way over to the zombie farm just to test this thing out is not really what I want to do. I do want to get rid of the winter so that I can get on with doing all of the farming and stuff. But I also don't want to travel backwards and forwards by running all the time. I could use a boat. A boat would be good. I could use a boat. There's a river close by and I could boat all the way around quickly to get there. That would be okay. Um, boats are cheap as well. I can do that. But there is something else that I would like to have a look at today to see if I can get it to work. So <clears throat> in order to take the disenchanting stuff over there, I thought about checking out this mod. Uh, it's a rails mod. It is extra rails. There is a locking rail. There is a directional rail. There is a teleporting rail, which is the interesting one. There is a comparator rail and there's a wooden rail. I guess the wooden rail is just cheaper to make. Yes, cheaper to make than um, metal ones. The teleporting rail requires stick, some iron, a couple of ender pearls. I'm not sure if I've got a couple of ender pearls though, so I'm going to have to do some kind of uh, enderman hunting in order to get some ender pearls to make it work. Uh, I don't believe I've got any stored away anywhere. Oh, I've got one. I've got one from an enderman that we killed elsewhere. So I'm going to go to the roguelike dungeon, get some ender pearls from um, an enderman spawner, and then I should be able to make some rails. I think my iron supplies have just been done, yes. My, my current iron supplies. I've just been smelting up what iron I had. And how much have I got now? Uh, one block and four ingots. Well, I can have another block to do it anyway. So yeah, I've got to go and find the roguelike dungeon to create uh, an enderman farm in order to make some ender pearls appear so that I can use some ender rails. So that is my plan for right now. So I am going to start by wandering over that way. Um, I think, should I take the dogs? I don't know if dogs attack... Let, let's take a couple of wolves and I'll make a boat and I'll travel down there with the wolves and a boat. And we'll see about getting ender pearls from the enderman spawner in order to make these teleporting rails. Uh, I'm going to take two of the dogs, I think. Where's the other dog? Hey, dog. Uh, you can come with me. I still haven't renamed them. That's another thing that I want to do as well. Rename them. Okay, there you go. If you go and... Well, as it's winter, we might rename them now as Sunny and... What should we have? Sunny and Cher? That's that's even old by my standards, that is. Even I'm not old enough for Sunny and Cher. But Sunny and Cher make two good names for the first two dogs. And uh, I do have enough to make two more name tags for the dogs, which is good. Yeah. Oh, five, actually. I make five with that. Ah, okay. I'm going to save that piece of leather, then. Because I haven't been farming out the cows yet, I haven't got a lot of leather. So, this is good. So, we can have Sunny and Cher. So, you can be Sunny. Uh, you're actually Sunny number two, because Sunny number one died, I'm afraid. Yeah. There was Sunny and Snowy and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Sunny, come over here. I need you. You can be... Uh, share. Um, do I do I spell it like that? Let's spell it like that, just so it's different. I don't know how to spell Sunny and Share from the uh, the pop band. I think it is from the sixties or something before I was born. But that'll do. Sunny and Share. Uh, Share is obviously the actress, I believe. So maybe it's a C instead of an S. But that'll do for me. Sunny and Share. And I'm going to go and take Sunny and Share off. Uh, I've got some wood make a boat and I will head out to the roguelike dungeon and meet you over there okay well I don't know how exactly this is gonna work <clears throat> but um, I think I can possibly get these endermen killed without dying myself too horribly um, I am gonna need to kind of find a way to this lit over this way so that nothing creeps up behind us uh, this is the way out 
this way, which is good. Uh, I don't want anything coming that way. I get this stuff, thank you. Um, so yeah, I've got to figure out how to get some Endermen without having too many issues. If I go here, then I suppose we've got uh, a section that's not too big. There we go. Now, can I can I attack these guys sword and shield style to try and kill them off? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa! Oh man! Oh man! I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the chunk loaded. Yes, they did it. Awesome. Oh, but I'm all the way back over here. I didn't sleep in that bed. Dang it. Okay. Well, I'll get over there fairly swiftly, and I will uh, yeah try and pick my stuff up before it despawns. Okay. Well, I get back over here, and I uh, I find that the guards are killing Enderman quite readily. They're just killing them. They're just destroying them. I managed to get all my stuff back. I've just literally scooped it all up quickly. But I am getting ender pearls just based on the fact that they're uh, they're attacking. But there's some guys behind us there. Look, but it's a good job I blocked all that off. Um, but if I if I just let them spawn, the guards tend to take care of it. Look, and they're not fighting back against the guards, which is pretty awesome. Guards can handle it. Nice. Guards can handle it. So if I set your home here, no problemo. Um, don't go fighting yourselves amongst yourselves. Come on. Right. Um, set your home here. Okay. So they're both home set. Yeah. Now they can't wander anywhere, so I'll just tell them to move freely. So they can attack the Enderman as the Enderman get angry, I guess. Uh, and meanwhile, I can do maybe some damage over here to these guys. They do regenerate. So hopefully we don't have any problems with the guards dying on me. I hope. Uh, let's make a little uh, crafting area. Uh, let's make a proper crafting frame. Cute. Oh, the wolf needs a bit of food. I'm pretty sure that... Uh, stop bouncing on the bounty bit. Uh, pretty sure that they can heal up. You sit down. You follow me over here. Can you follow me? Share. Follow me. Share. Follow me. Stop bouncing. Stop bouncing. Share. Come on. Stop bouncing. Okay, if I hold shift down, are you going to come to me that way? Let's see. Now sit. Alright, now if I give you some chicken, are you going to feel better? Yes. Awesome. Sunny and Cher are safe again. But I want you to sit, dog. I want. That's a strange thing, isn't it? Okay. Uh, that in there. Make a chest. Put away some of the things. I picked these up on the way thinking I could enchant them. Uh, oh, I found the boots. Okay. Uh, yeah, I put a few things away that I thought I could unenchant or disenchant and sort them out that way. Hopefully that'll work. Uh, Ender pearls galore at the minute, which is good. And we'll get rid of all that. I only need one arrow. But I may as well carry them all. There we go. Alright, so now get these. Get all these. And the guys are carrying... Oh, wait a minute. Where's the other one? There's just one. There's just one guy left. Oh, no. I think I've lost a guard. But I've got seven ender pearls. And I only need two ender pearls per rail. So we might be okay to get started here. So how about I light up the spawner again to stop them spawning. And then head back to base. Alright, that was a, that was another long run. Uh, it's, uh, it's good that I can get back before I run out of um, like stamina or water. And my temperature doesn't change too much. I can make the whole run there and back without too much issue. Um, unfortunately though, the boat idea didn't quite work because the dogs don't follow so easily. But still, we'll be okay. So I need two of these. Uh, one, two, let's hope that's enough. And I can do wood sticks, was it? Was it wooden rails? I think there was a wooden rails recipe that we saw there, wasn't there? Yeah, that one. Uh, yeah, I could do eight of those that way. Awesome. Okay, let's test this out. 
So, teleportation. This this could be very, very bad. I don't know how it's going to work. Let's see. Uh, if I put a track there with some rails there like that. I make myself... Oh, where's the crafting table? Crafting table I hid up here. Why did I hit, hide the crafting table all the way over here? Um, make a cart. Okay. Good. <laughs> I'm going to have to run all the way to another location to test this out in a minute. Uh, let's see. I, yeah, I could probably test it out here, couldn't I, actually? Let's test it out here. Okay. So. Um, let's put a rail on either side of this as well, just to see what happens. Okay, so. I think I can right-click, yeah, to open up a GUI on these. Okay, so white, white, white is the code for this one. And white, white, white is the code for this one. Now, obviously, I can change this. So I could go orange, white, white. And change that one to orange, white, white, so they're connected. This is how I understand it. And then when I get in a cart, it teleports over to the other one. That's cool. Okay. It has to be chunk loaded, apparently, though. That's the thing. It has to be chunk loaded to make it work. Um, but it does work, doesn't it? Look. Bong. Yeah, and I'm carrying on in the same direction. That's cool. Okay. So, if I take take these give me give me give me give me all of them all of them all of them and put it somewhere else then i could teleport across to that place i wonder if it works across dimensions um this is going to be a very dangerous thing to test out uh i just tested it out in here because well why not okay so that is now orange white white and if i go through it I don't teleport anywhere. Okay, so that makes sense. That it's not going to work uh, across dimensions. That's fine. There's also Super Crafting Frames. Which has another teleportation style thing going on. Um, which I might try. But I just fancied having this kind of transport. Because I can transport my dogs to different places. I can transport the villagers to different places. And all that kind of stuff. So long as I've got a, some kind of chunk loading. It should be okay. The uh, crafting frames, though, let's have a look. Super crafting frames also has a teleportation frame, which is simply an ender pearl surrounded by a stick. But it requires a destination marker, which is four ender pearls around an empty map. And a map, of course, requires a compass, and that's a little bit more iron and stuff. So there's a few other ways to do things as well, but traveling through this seems like a, a cheap option. Because I can change the code depending on the destination I want to go to. I can literally just put a cart down here and head through and appear somewhere else. I do need the chunk loading though. That's the issue. Um, I could probably cover a lot of space by just having a little run of teleporters like this within chunk loaded distance. And test that out. Uh, and yeah. I think... I think, I think, I think, I need to set something up to test it and figure it out. Okay, so let's test this bit out. Anyway, super crafting frames testing out time. Uh, I need a map. That's that's the last of my iron gone as well that I've got here. So I think the first location is going to be the zombie farm. And then that should be it for that. Yes, we've got two destinations and I should be able to make a destination frame. I'm missing sticks. Wow. Of all the things to be missing, I'm missing little sticks. Okay, that's that. Okay, so I've got two of those. What's the second one? Two put together puts a two in it. Okay, that's fine. For now, though, I just want one. So I only need the one location for now. Ow, I'm hot. I'm burning hot. Uh, let's see. If I put... Uh, a couple of blocks here and put a crafting frame on let's take my arm off because I'm boiling and let's put a super crafting frame just there okay I can set the destination here to be right here I don't really want to go right there though. let's go right here not exactly what I wanted shift right click destination marker achieved okay that's good and we like that good good and I think I need to go for a little dip. Just to cool down a bit. Oh, actually, I should just run over there while I'm hot. I should just run all the way over there while I'm hot. 
and go and set it up at the zombie uh, XP grinder. Uh, I want to take... Do I want to take the tent and the disenchanter while I'm there? Mm, no, I'll come back for them. If everything works out, I should be coming back for it. So I'll uh, I'll meet you over there. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I like that I did the glass. I like that. I like the glass so that I can uh, walk straight down the ladder and get to this point. And they're already spawning. They're already spawning. How you doing, dudes? Yeah, all of you die. Horrible deaths. Okay, so now we get the teleportation frame here. And shall I put it over here? I guess I'll put it here, right? And that destination marker in it. That's good. And let's have uh, the destination marker back to be... Oh, should we put it here? Yeah, let's put it here. Uh, half slab's probably not a good idea. I probably want to put it on a full block. Um, I don't really want to teleport inside something, though. So let's take a full well a half block and make it into a full block right about here okay so this destination marker's there so now i've got that destination marker i'm i'm hot again i've got no armor on i'm hot again is it spring or something and then right click and i'm back over here all the way over here nice and then if i put this in there boom i can go back over there oh yeah Pretty good. Pretty good. So now I've got the teleportation back and forwards. This is kind of just for moving moving animals and stuff around over longer distances. That's going to still be quite a faff, isn't it, to make these. It's cheaper than this. but And it, look, it would probably look cooler. But I think it's just for a long, long trek backwards and forwards. This is still going to be the quickest long distance route. Yeah, so the extra rails from the extra rails mod are cool, and I like the way they work, but I think the super crafting frames have got it covered for me for teleporting around. Uh, I do need to go and take a few bits and pieces with me over there, so let's grab this. In fact, we can drop off some of the bits that I don't need. Let's drop off that. Let's take the paper. I don't have enough leather, but there is a way of making wooden books. Uh, not there's a guide for vanilla automation. I didn't know there was a guide for vanilla automation. Uh, use recipes of book. We can of course make this recipe for book. Uh, we can also do cut leather, which is cut leather into two. Ah, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. So I could make more leather to make more books that way, and of course normal leather. Which again needs the the crafting stuff, but I can make blank patterns string, blank patterns with string. Yes. Uh, all right. I think I got everything. Got some string. Got some wood. Got some sticks to make some books. Got some paper to make some books. Got the things and all the stuff, and uh, I should probably get some sugar cane as well. But I can always come back because I've got the handy dandy, very quick to maneuver t uh, <laughs> tents with everything in that I could possibly want. Boom. Uh, you can go there, and you can go there, and oh yeah, at um, at the camp, I've started putting um, lanterns in the middle so that when I do this, there's no darkness inside, there's no hidden stuff inside, which is excellent, I believe. Uh, okay, so do I have a crafting table over here anymore? Did I move my crafting table? Hey, give me this. Okay. Uh, disenchanting table I can put I, do I want to put it inside here do I want to find a place in here to put a disenchanting table is there going to be a space maybe if I put it up there can I still use it yes I can still use it and I can still use the chest that's a good place to be then that's awesome so let's see what about disenchanting this sort of stuff uh, I think that armor's mine isn't it yeah let's put that armor on that's my armor and I could take protection and unbreaking off that. Protection two and unbreaking. These are all just protection and unbreaking. It's it's kind of useful, isn't it? Does it cost me anything experience-wise? I don't think it does. Okay, so I can do this. And the durability goes down a little bit when we do it. Oh, well. Could be worse. Could be worse. And, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Oh, I've still got the rails in here. Why have I still got the rails in here? Did I just break the rails and didn't pick them up? Awesome job. Awesome job. 
Okay, so that works. Uh, yeah, that works okay. So what have I got that needs disenchanting? Uh, nothing in there. Have I got any enchanted stuff down here? No. Hmm, okay. So, <laughs> so all this hard work getting some enchanted stuff is basically just for the roguelike dungeons enchanting stuff to get rid of the enchanted stuff that way. Um, possibly that's the only reason I've got it. Oh, burning again. Stop burning. Uh, let's get book. Uh, let's craft the book with like that. I need some of those. Let's get... Oh, man. Uh, let's do that again. Do that again. And this time with emphasis on getting all the things together. Let's get those out. Like this. Okay, let's make a load of books. Just so I can disenchant a load of things. And boom. Yes. Okay. Do that. Thank you. Six more books. That's good. That should be enough to take the enchantments off those things. Uh, do I have anything in here that's enchanted? I don't think i got any enchantments on here. I've got efficiency on this grave spade. So I might be able to take those off. That would be a good idea. And that's it, I believe. Yeah, there's nothing else. Nothing else in here. That needs disenchanting anyway. Uh, didn't store anything in there. No. And I've got nothing in these. I do have another legendary diamond sword ready to level up, though. You guys are going to die. Uh, so let's see. We can we can quite simply do this. This is awesome. I like how easy it is. Oh, we can only do one book at a time. Never mind. That could be worse. Uh, unbreaking. Thank you. And let's change that over for that. Get the efficiency off. Get the unbreaking two off. And that's just a normal one then. Awesome. Look at this. This is awesome. The disenchanting. And then that's all disenchanted. Okay. And I've got a load of new books. Which I can dump in here. And start working out what I want to add together. So to add stuff like unbreaking on here. And unbreaking on the sword. And stuff like that. Just to work things out. Do I want health draining? I think health draining is probably a good thing. Sharpness and knockback sounds like a good thing. We've got unbreaking. We've got protection. I could probably put some protection on one of these. There's a protection two on there. I could take these off and put them onto diamond. Oh, yes. So many possibilities. So many endless possibilities. Now, another thing that I wanted to try out was to put the teleporter in a different dimension. I'm not sure if that works. Whether I could teleport to these from a single place so i could go into one and then have teleportation to all the different ones or the other uh, tents i think that kind of spoils things a little bit though because i did like having the idea of having the tents around and about like this i did like that so i think i want to keep that as a as a feature uh, I do need to next look into backpacks, which is going to be in the next episode, I think, because I've got a few things with backpacks that I haven't yet fully realised and used and utilised that we can do in the next episode. So I'm going to do some of that, and uh, until then, I'm going to do some killing zombies, getting some enchantments on my stuff again, and then hopefully becoming awesome. So thank you all very, very much for watching another episode of Banished. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. There was a few things that we tested out, a few things that we have uh, basically neglected to try uh, previously. The rails, they look awesome. The extra rails looks awesome. But I haven't got a project in mind where I want to use rails and teleporter rails. The teleportation crafting frames are superior in getting me around from one place to the next saving me running through all the wilderness but there will be a time soon enough when i will have to explore somewhere fresh and maybe we'll come up with an idea for a reason to have some teleportation tracks and special extra rails in something that we do but until then folks thank you very very much for watching i will see you in the next episode <laughs>